Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and this is from Jeb RC and it's called the Mark II and I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it in my previous video in the mailbag time where I said I'm going to be sticking the F40s uh, Pro V2 with the low KV to do a 6 inch build however I just changed my mind two minutes ago. So this frame is actually like one of the nicest freestyle frames I've seen. I, I don't know how it flies just yet but just looking at it and how everything fits together and they even provide you with two uh, camera mounting solutions, which is pretty cool actually. So as you can see here, um, it's actually slit here. And then this one is just a basic camera mounting solution in a kind of way. And if you take a look here, this thing will portray through that as you can see it in the pictures. In the pictures, it actually has this one. So I was just super surprised to see that they even give you a different one. Because for me, I don't like using this because I have my 3D printed uh, GoPro session holders and I prefer to use those and you know look at that nice fat gap right there for you to mount whatever you want there that is just very thoughtful that is just one thing that just making me go crazy about this frame that that right there that alone right there that, that thing right there is just absolutely beautiful you guys have no idea how it's how much of a hassle some of these things can be now this was where very well thought out the quality of the carbon absolutely beautiful they're stating 3k carbon i do believe jeb barcia when they say 3k carbon aluminum they are using an aluminum part which is this one but they weren't stating if it's a 70 75 aluminum but i tightened the living crap out of it and it didn't even strip so it is good aluminum or some kind of other metal but they're saying it's aluminum so i'm guessing it's aluminum and it's a good aluminum so that's good now they also this is obviously a, this is a top mount battery and it's pretty cool because the, the top right here the top plate is pretty thin so it'll just wrap around your battery it's pretty good and they do provide you with three battery straps well not three two battery straps and one uh camera strap as you can see here one little tiny one i really love these little tiny ones and these two i mean you know they, they get you covered everything and you even got your antenna protectors here which just go in the back that's super awesome they also give you a pdb which is rated, let's see, which is rated to, I have no idea what, but, you know, I'm guessing 5S maximum. We'll just stick 4S maximum. And they do give you some landing skids, very nice ones. And obviously, they give you this anti-slip thing to go on top, which is beautiful. And it's really a must-have, really, in such things. I really love this here. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the frame now. So, the bottom plate and the upper plate are 2 millimeters. You have a something called a bumper plate, which is 1.5 millimeters. It's just an extra piece of carbon fiber you can put right in the front right here. So it's pretty nice. Um, I guess it adds some protection, some sort of ways. So that's pretty cool in that perspective. Um, also, what we have here, this is this comes in a four, five, and a six inch version. I have the six inch version here, and while putting it together, actually, you can make this into a stretch X now. I don't know how it'll fly. However, uh, this outer screw here, because there's three screws holding the arms in place. The outer screw will not be holding the arm if you make it into a stretch X. All you got to do is flip each arm just backwards and then just it'll align again on the bottom differently. So these little notches or whatever you want to call them, bumps, will be on the inside part. And it'll actually turn into a six inch. So only two screws would actually hold and this one will stop holding because it'll have no room for it. And I think this, you know, for the um, the standoff screw right here, probably I think will not be installed either because the arm would be in the way. So that was pretty cool. That's something if you want to try, you can go ahead and do that. So um, I might try it. I'm not going to say I will because I have no idea if I'll have the time to do that. But if I do, I will do that and update you guys. So overall, I mean, it's a very nice little freestyle frame. This is not going to be a racing frame. I mean, you could use it if you want. Uh, it's coming in around 126 grams. So just like this with the sticker here. Uh, I have not weighed it with this piece, but this piece is obviously a bit going to be, it's going to be around 130 grams, I believe, possibly a little bit more. But overall, they give you everything you need. They even give you standoffs and not just four standoffs, nylon standoffs. They give you eight. That is just... Jeb RC. I mean, what do you expect? You pay 50 bucks to give you 50 bucks worth of stuff. Uh, the quality is beautiful. The arms are four millimeters. They're pretty thin, not super thin in width here. Um, but you know what? Let's actually get its measurement real quick because that's very important, obviously. Uh, so let's quickly find the caliper here. And I think I will never find it for some reason. It's a little bit thinner towards the motor area. So let me just quickly see this. So its width here is around 14 millimeters. And 
here is also yeah it's it's around 14 millimeters it does have some kind of like little concave or is that like kind of it looks pretty flat it's very difficult to tell actually yeah it's a little bit fatter towards the end and it kind of gets just a little bit skinnier so here it's 14 millimeters you're probably like 15 16 up here so it seems pretty nice so let's do a little bend test here um it's pretty sturdy actually very sturdy it's very rigid very good that's what you expect from jump rc so um i'm really liking this i mean that's all i can really say just looking at it it looks nice the build quality is beautiful everything fit absolutely beautiful uh the the hardware was all there so you know it's 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 a good one i guess so i mean that's all i can say right now i mean the overall uh structural integrity seems absolutely good and uh the camera mounting solutions we do have just the basic kind of camera mounting solutions nothing special nothing too crazy and the top plate here towards the back it actually goes pretty thin so let me show you that real quick so it goes pretty fat and then it goes a little bit thinner and as you can see it pops up and then it goes very thin here now what i like about this check this out here sorry about the camera um when you when the screw is about to come in it actually goes fatter so you know the the area from where the hole is to the uh edge will not be so thin thus giving it a higher risk of cracking so that's very nice that's very thoughtful uh they're not trying to have you go and break this frame as soon as possible to start purchasing parts for it so that's 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 pretty cool however there's something that i really don't like or it could be a good thing is this little part here now this can be used to possibly protect your motors in a way uh, but you know it can also you know add extra or give you a higher risk of cracking an arm possibly i don't know uh time will tell hopefully it will crash into a pole somehow and then we'll see if anything happens there and well that's all i could really say guys i have nothing else to say right now uh we're just gonna have to build it and take it out for a flight and actually my current idea of building it might change again is i got these new since i really love the sunny sky edge racing motors actually i got these and these are the 2308 and that 08 you know how we're used to 2306 you know th those two extras from a, two a 2306 to a 2308 the 08 is huge i mean look how <laughs> big this is so i'm kind of too scared to put this on to be super amp hungry and not even get to enjoy it but at the same time it just looks like some sexy shoes are on this frame it is just insanely beautiful. I don't know how much these weigh. So this thing is going to weigh like a trillion. But don't forget, this is also a six inch. So, I, you know, it's going to pull. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Emacs 2306, uh, F40s, V3, or these 2308s, 25 or 2600 KV. I should have went with lower KV. 2600 KV. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're going to be putting the Kakute with the Tico 32 ESCs. I am impressed with those ESCs. They're just absolutely insane. I've actually been doing more testing. I'll make a new video on that very soon and uh, we'll see. But the build is going to be with those ESCs. Um, and that's really it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.